So the most important quality of an ideal leader, friends, is that he ought to perform his obligations in a spirit of service and sacrifice. So when he's being intellectual, when he's leading from the front, when he's delegating, he ought to do it in a spirit of service and sacrifice. A person cannot claim to be a leader if he lacks this important quality. Again, in chapter 18, verse 5 of the Bhagavad Gita, the master strategist highlights Yagnya Dhanam Tapas Chaiva Pavanani Manishina. One of the most important qualities of a leader is that he performs his duties in a spirit of service and sacrifice, which is known as Yagnya. He regards it as a worship, as, as a sacrifice, which is known as Karma Yoga. Working in a spirit of service and sacrifice. And what's the opposite of that? The opposite of that is working out of self-centeredness, out of selfishness, me and mine. When a person, when a leader works in a spirit of service and sacrifice, that very work becomes exhilarating entertaining, energizing. And on the contrary, when a leader's duties is vitiated with his selfishness, his self-centeredness, that very work becomes burdensome. It becomes stressful. Right? He, stop, he stops living in the present. He's infested with worries and anxieties if he doesn't have the spirit of service and sacrifice. And mind you, make no mistake, when a person, when a leader works in this, this attitude of karma yoga, this attitude of spirit of service and sacrifice, there's going to be such a sound industrial relationship in the organization. With all the HR management at your disposal, you cannot have that industrial harmony if the spirit of service and sacrifice is missing. Hence, it's so important for a leader to be equipped with this quality. As we have seen umpty number of times, friends, it's a law of nature or law of life. You will not find even one selfish person in the entire world who is happy. Vice versa, you will not find even one person in the entire world who is unselfish, who is selfless and he is unhappy. He is bound to be happy.